Okay. Then you can drop this term for the steady state. This term can be dropped, right? Because VR itself is zero. We said that it's not zero, but T, it, T does not change with respect to zeta. Vz is zero. So left hand side, you have zero. Right hand side, T is function of R. This term must be kept. Okay? This term, T does not change with respect to zeta. It can be dropped. It does not change with Z. It can be dropped. And if you neglect viscous heat, this term can be dropped as well. Okay? So you end up with this part of the equation. You can integrate it. If you integrate it twice, you get T equal to C1 ln R plus C2 after integration. K is gone because left hand side is zero. So we have two constants, so we need two boundary conditions. The first boundary condition would be at R equal to inside, the radius is AR, temperature is T0. The second boundary condition would be at R equal to outside, radius capital R, temperature is T1. These two boundary conditions together with that equation for two variables, you should, should be able to solve for C1 and C2. Again, straightforward. If you do that, you get temperature profile. Okay? Simple. Five minutes, you're done. But of course, this is just part A and part B. For one problem, you have, let's say this one is problem two. You may have 2A, 2B, 2C, and 2D. Okay, up to this point, it's just 2A. 2A is dropping terms. 2B would be solving for temperature profile. Okay, for 2C, to CA asks, if inside the inner core, the core here, the inside bucket here, if I fill up the ice for only half. So that means the cross-section picture of your system now becomes like this. This is filled with water, right? Outside is temperature T1. If inside you fill here with ice, temperature T0, but only half, what does it change? What changed from the equation here? Do you think you get the same temperature profile? No. So anything change? Do you still get this equation? No. So that means temperature, oh, let's start. The velocity, velocity is V theta. Is it the same for this problem? It is the same as long as you assume Density does, is not function, strong function of temperature. This one you get the same, right? So V theta, VR, VZ, they'll be the same. But temperature, is it function of R? Is 
Is it function of r? Yes, it is function of r. Is it function of theta? No. So it's not. Is it function of z? Yes. So right now it is function of z. So that the change here is now you cannot drop this term. Right? Also, the boundary condition will be changed. Because now inside here is no longer ice. Now it's air, temperature T1. Okay? So you may need to divide your whole system into two parts. Top part and the bottom part. Can you describe phenomena or heat transfer inside your system here? Do we have conduction? Do we have conduction? We do. Do we have convection? Is there any convection in our system here in water? Yes? No? We, sh we have flow rate here. We say that. Do we have convection? No, we do not. We do not have convection. Why? Because the direction of V theta here is moving and along the way, I mean, if you fix radius from the center to the point here, if you fix radius and you change theta, temperature does not change along the way, right? So if you have the constant temperature, doesn't matter, you do not have heat transfer in that direction. So there will be no heat transfer in theta direction. If you say that T is not function of theta, there will be no convection in theta direction. Okay? So in our direction, do we have conduction? We do have conduction in R, right? But in this particular problem here, it may change. The direction of the heat transfer in the bottom layer supposed to go from higher temperature to lower temperature. So heat transfer QR would go in this direction. From outside, which is a little bit warmer, to inside, which is ice, colder, okay? How about here, up here, do we have conduction in R? If you look in reality, do you think the water here would be temperature T1? No, right? This one's supposed to be cooler, a little bit cooler. How come temperature here is lower than T1? because there will be conduction in z direction. Right now, around here, the liquid is colder than liquid around here. So there will be conduction in z direction, qz, going downward here. Okay? That makes liquid here has lower temperature than liquid out here, than the fluid in here. So there will be Conduction in R going from inside to outside. There will be QR on the top portion of the system. Anything else regarding heat transfer? Anything else? The problem asks you to describe the heat transfer like this for both conduction and convection in all direction. Do you think this picture is complete? No. What else should we add? What else should we add? 
what does it mean? <laughs> Still, whenever you trying to define the direction of heat transfer, you need to look at temperature difference. Wherever you have temperature difference, in that direction you're supposed to have heat transfer. So right now, temperature here and temperature there are not equal, right? So there's supposed to be heat transfer here from outside <coughs> air toward inside. And there'll be heat transfer here as well. Okay? And if you think carefully, then there'll be heat transfer from top part as well. How about the bottom? Of course, there'll be heat transfer from the bottom. So unless you assume that your tank here is very, very long, then you cannot neglect the bottom and the top part. Okay? And I like problem like this. I don't like mathematics because it does not test your understanding. It just tests your math. And it's not fair to test your math in this, prop, in, in this course. Okay? Any question? Yes? Of course, there will be T1 to T0, but our system is liquid here. This is not our system. All right, if there is no question, let's say that we finish chapter 11. Next time, we start chapter 14. Chapter 12 is about heat transfer in two directions, which is a little bit more complicated mathematically, so we will, need, we will not talk about that. Chapter 13 is turbulent flow, which again, I'm going to drop this, the turbulent part. We'll start chapter 14 next week. All right.